That was nothing I really could do there, because, I mean, if I left it on the field, instead of trying to attack it, oh, it just would get destroyed next turn and be left wide open, and wouldn't have died anyway, so not really much I could do there. Oh, we'll go second again. Send to the graveyard. Quip shot. Uh, give and take. Limit overload. I'm gonna go for an attack. We can that defense mode. Probably go for go for an try going for an attack to see how that goes. Probably not well. But Less monsters on her side of the field, less likely for her to summon. Right, Dark Virgil. Alright, we got 300 damage. She now has two more on the field. And there's Giga Plant. Already starting off on the losing side. Come on, something good. Uh, we wouldn't really call that good. We throw this defense mode, we're gonna take some damage, but I can summon Synchron out next time, get Junk Warrior on the field, and we'll go from there. Alright, just getting close to a Black Rose Dragon, so we're gonna have to hurry up. Add a level 4 to my hand. What are we gonna get? Speed Warrior would be good for this, but then that could also be good in case we need defense. Go for Speed Warrior. Now, ah, oh, no, we can't use Junk Synchron because if we bring out Tuning Wear. It's going to negate its effect, and we can't summon out level two monster. Uh, we can't turn it, make it a level two for synchrons. So we're going to have to summon you. Go for an attack, and hopefully, a face down cards aren't going to stop this attack. Just destroy one of the monsters. All right, after that, end of turn. It's gone down 900. We're going to take. Some damage again, but hopefully we can get Junk Warrior on the field next turn. Right, another 300, so we're down to 47. Turning again, we can get another one. I'll just go for Junk Synchron. Oh, there's Quill. Quill Bolt, that could be useful. Throw that down. And we go for Quill Bolt. No, 
I don't think that'd be useful. So we don't have a level six, do we? No, go back. Share cards. We got level eight and level five, so no level sixes. That's completely useless. Maybe it would have worked for tuning wear. But even then, if we summon that to the field, its effect is negated, and uh, we wouldn't be able to get the extra card. You have normal summon. Uh, Turbo Booster. If you have uh, normal summon a monster this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can tribute this card to destroy one monster your opponent controls that battled one of your monsters this turn. Now we could use that effect. Or I was thinking. We go Turbo Boost. Activate, give or take. They can get speed warrior. I throw down jump barrage on you. Okay, attack speed warrior. Damn it. Why do you gotta do that to me? Closer to try summoning a monster or something that's useful, and we get slain with a hard no. And I guess Speed Roar destroy that, summon out Speed Roar to the field again. Junk Sacron will summon out Will Bolt. That negates its effect. But we can summon a Junk Warrior. And I'm hoping that she's not going to use another goddamn no entry. Alright, cool. Getting a little somewhere now. And unfortunately, that's still got more attack points. Force. Bring you to our hand. Now, what does a coffee plant do? Okay, we got an Ivy token. And that is going to summon her Black Rose. Second block rose. Alright. Reinforcement of the army. We are going to go for I have no idea what we're going for. Alright, think about this. We got three. We bring out a level two, so that's five, so we need a level three. Now, if finally we get both of them on the field at the same time, that would be extremely useful. 
And that's only level one. Thing is, should I wait? I'll throw that in defense mode. Well, we had double summon. And that's zero. Yeah, the extra deck. I don't know whether they would take out like uh, Nitro and Armory Arm, and we had other cards too, so I don't know why. Alright, screw it. I am just going to my own decks. Um, pretty sure that's really the only one that I have that is semi useful because the others aren't even finished yet. I was working on the um, Elemental Dinos, and I think it was a Legendary Ocean deck of all Scott there. Oh, and the Dark World deck too, but I mean, I've only got a handful of those cards. Alright, we're going Necro Valley. Going for Gravekeeper's Servant. Then I'm going to throw you in attack mode. You're for a special summon already, aren't you? God damn it. Oh, what, you can't attack this turn? Is summoned? Oh, I'm not complaining about that. Yeah, Cyber Dragon's really fun to use. Uh, the one I typically use primarily is my Dark World deck. Both in game and real world, because I just like the Dark World cards. They're really useful, fun, and easy to use. Seriously. Also, uh, King of the Seventh Skull deck. That's actually really good, too, because if you get the cards in the graveyard fast enough, you can get to, I think it was like, about what, 15, 16? Maybe even higher than that. Uh, thousand attack points like that's a massive amount of damage and you could also pair like uh, I also do the necro dragon Necro, yeah, I think it's called Necro Dragon, which is like a fusion of two zombie types. Very useful. Alright, what are we going to do? Because no matter what I summon, it's going to be left wide open for an attack. Alright. Summon you out. You get a 500 boost. We go for her witch. No entry again. You've got a counter for everything I have, don't you? Slowly destroying a deck that could be useful. Hopefully, we can get rid of a couple of us uh, tuna cards so that way she can't synchro summon. Summon at you. Another deck I've really been using that I've been enjoying playing with is a modified, like it's a fusion Gaia deck with like a bunch of different archetypes with like the blue 
uh, skilled blade mages, I think they're called. No, magicians. It's magician, the magician archetype. And you can use a bunch of different dragon and Gaia types to summon out the Galloping Gaia and stuff like that. Gonna go for Princess and Defense Mode. Alright, Necro Throne. And no, we're gonna go for one in my hand. We want you. Now, gains attack and defense to the combined original levels of a fusion summoned. Alright, so that would be four. Not gonna be just enough. Wait, you should also gain 500 for Necro Valley too, I'm pretty sure, doesn't it? your effect. Switch you into attack. That's one. Two. Yeah, Necro Valley is extremely powerful and it's very early. You can get it from the very first card pack in the store. So, like, I don't know why they put such a good deck at the very, uh, like, beginning of the game, but it is so OP. We're gonna go for... what do I want? Honestly, we'll probably just go for you. attack and then I can immediately summon again. I'm gonna go spiritualist. Which means we're gonna go for another summoner. are going to be even more powerful. Alright. One. Two. And that is so much more simple than just using the, the story-based decks. Which is back to story-based since we passed that. Hopefully this fight isn't too bad. Alright, we're gonna throw down uh descending lost star. Shield wing can be useful. Because you can't be destroyed for two attacks per turn. Twice per turn, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, target one synchro monster in the graveyard. Special summon that target in defense position, but its effects are negated. Its level is reduced by one. Its defense becomes zero. Also, can cannot change uh, battle position. Like, can you get any worse than that? 
zero defense, can't change battle positions, and it's reduced levels. Oh, and you can attack twice by time. You also do piercing damage. Up to Synchron. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard for the Synchro Summon of a Dragon Time monster, this gains 800 attack. Also, banish their face up monster during the end phase. I mean, that's not the best. Yeah. Really should be checking that too. Alright, so it's the same thing as the last fight. Three Stardust and one Junk Warrior. I mean, we're going to ignore the fact that obviously the Dragon cards are only one of a kind, but we have three copies in our deck, as well as, I'm assuming, he also has three. Yeah, it's a level 4 Tuna, which can be good, but it also removes the card from play after the, during the end turn, so not the best. Alright, we're going to go for Speed Warrior. And activate this effect. Now, please do not be something that's going to screw me over. Alright. I don't know what that truck card is, but it's not used for battle purposes. Maybe Call of the Haunted or something? Oh wait, no, he's got his own unique one, doesn't he? Monster Rebirth or something like that? Oh, he's got a second one, great. Yeah, here's Red Dragon Archfiend. Also a lot of the Resonator cards. Either player can banish monster cards. Like banish cards? Wait, so how does that work with you? Does the card not get banished then? I wonder how that works, because if that can't banish, and then what's that gonna do? Is it gonna keep it on the field? Is it gonna be like a negate? Alright, we'll have to figure that out if we get a summon. And a turn. That's going to drop down 900 again. Speaking of which, um, I'm pretty sure uh, when you use Power Bond, you take the 4,000 damage. I attempted to use the move that Zane usually uses, and unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for me because it ended my turn with a threatening roar, and I got slammed with uh, 4,000 damage, even when I used the fusion. Alright, another Speed Warrior. This is our last one. Activate. Go for an attack. We still only got the, only this one, which means gonna say if Speed Warrior remains on the field we could actually summon but that's a no. Maybe we get like a Call the Haunter card or a Monster Reborn or something. Yeah you have to make sure they haven't got any cards that would really screw you over because I got screwed over with Threatening Roar which was funny but at the same time annoying because I had already lost that fight multiple times. Uh, activate by sending two cards from your hand to the graveyard while your opponent has a monster uh, has more than 3,000 life points. Inflict 2,000 to your opponent, and if this card is in the graveyard, you can add it to your hand instead of conducting your normal draw phase. Well, probably not a good idea to use that. I'll get rid of my only tuna card. There's Mad Archfiend. And there's Red Dragon. Yeah, this is not good. No, stop asking me if I want to use that card.
Oh, so he uses it against me, huh? Oof. What are we gonna do? Best I can do is jump warrior. Wait a second. Junk Warrior is five. Yeah, so that means I was gonna say I could summon out. I could technically use for him, but that's not gonna work out. Oh, this is bad. What are we gonna do? Summon out. Hopefully, we just play by ear and see how that goes. Shield wing. Junk warrior. Media flare. Ditch these two. Two thousand. And after that, I'm not gonna look at it. as well. I mean, I doubt there was going to be anything in my deck that was going to block an attack from him. Even if I placed it in defense mode, I was just going to get attacked anyway. Give it one more try. See if maybe I can get a lucky hand. The thing about Jack's deck, uh, Jack's deck is that he really has a lot of high attacking monsters, especially ones with like uh, piercing damage. So against Yusei, it's kind of very weak. Is Yusei has a very uh, a lot of lower, weaker cards with unique abilities, which isn't good against going up against high attack uh, monsters. Alright, during your battle phase, immediately after this effect, resolve, synchro summon one monster you control. Monsters you control. Activate only when your opponent activates a trap card that, ne that inflicts damage. Negate the activation of that card and destroy it and all spell and trap cards, face up trap cards on the field. Alright, well, you're going to defense mode because I win you in the graveyard immediately. We'll go for it. I'm just hoping that that track card's nothing too dangerous. We'll bolt. And Junk Warrior. Yeah, we better go for you. I want you back in the graveyard just in case I can get an 
uh, a card to bring monster back. Although I'm going to skip it on damaging him. That would have been nice. Oh, great. Now you're going to half my attack. Oh, that was not useful at all. I should have just went for his Archfiend. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why so many protagonists have such weak cards. Spread Force. Get Junk Synchron. And that's why I want him in the graveyard. Might as well go for another Junk Warrior. Like, when you really think about it, uh, Yugi's isn't too bad. He's got some good cards, like Summon Skull, Curse of Dragon, and stuff like that, but then he takes them out later on. But they're pretty decent ones. Uh, you've got... I'm trying to think of his, like, level 4s and stuff like that. He has, like, Queen's Knight, Jack's Knight, uh, and King's Knight, which I know Jack Knight, Jack's Knight is technically level 5, but it could be special summoned when you have King and Queen on the field. He does have Celtic Guardian and Noble Arms and Celtic Guardian, which he switches out for Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, if I remember, which isn't half bad. So he's got some decent monsters, but you're thinking about Jaden. He has Obble Man, which is like 1200 attack, I think. Bistentrix, which is 1200, eight, no, 1300? Avion, which is a thousand. Clayman, eight hundred. Sparkman is the only really good one at sixteen hundred. But the majority of his normal monsters that he uses on a daily basis is like they're all normal types and very weak. Which makes sense. Uh, his deck is primarily fusion types. But then he gets the Neo Spatian, and then uh, in the Japanese he has his hero cards. Yeah. Uh, I've not just Celtic Guardian is really good because it's got um it has the same ability as Sonic Check, doesn't it? Because Sonic Check can't be destroyed by 1900 attack or more. So it's got some useful um abilities. Uh no, I'll have to go for this because it negates the effect. Right, last junk warrior. So uh, after that, we either have to get him for the graveyard, or we just immediately go for Stardust. Yeah, Celtic is definitely much better than Sonic Check because I mean it's only got three hundred. But then also cards you would probably want to throw that in, in defense mode rather than attack position. Okay. Well, you can be good in attack mode. Might as well throw you in attack mode. Sure, you're better off being used for summoning, but I don't have the ability to summon with you right now. You're going to go for an attack because I don't know what his face down is. I think that's the main reason why I like the Dark World cult so much. One, because you have Dark World, Dark, is it Dark World Shackles? Which reduces any monster's attack down to 100 points, which OP as hell. Uh, and two, you can just pair it with some cards that have ditching mechanics, such like if you use Tricky, you can ditch a card and then summon that with uh, its ability to special summon when it's discarded from your hand. So you can get two cards for the price of one, essentially uh, switching out the negative ability for something good. Or, if you're like me, just chuck a bunch of 
uh, card destructions in, destructions in your hand, or graceful charities in your hand. Alright, that makes eight. That's one. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, I meant to use the other ones. Why did you go up instead of right? Look, it's fine. We can deal with it. That's fine, we can deal with it. That was an accident, but we can work with it. Yeah, it does too, doesn't it? Or is that not Miss Steel Will? I'm pretty sure that also does it. I mean, there are plenty of cards that do that. Alright, looks like we might get lucky. And it's not mad at you, why not? I'm gonna kill I'm just gonna try killing him with a I'm gonna take you out with a hedgehog. There we go, we took out Jack with a cool bolt. 